Motion blur, you know, never knew it could be interesting, but it is, so enjoy. Most people who use After Effects see motion blur as just a toggle, so off or on. However, you can actually change the quality, amount, and even style of your motion blur in your composition settings. If you go to composition settings, click the advanced tab. Down here, you'll see some settings for motion blur. The first up is shutter angle. This is essentially the amount of motion blur. So 360, you get longer trails. You go up to 720, that's the max. You can see how long the trail is of your motion blur. Then you can even go down to 45 degrees and zero just turns it off. Shutter angle used to actually be a key part of how film cameras used to shoot. So it's the cutout of the rotary disc that would expose the film as it spun. The bigger the cutout, the more light is exposed to the film, the more motion blur you've got because you're capturing more light. 180 degrees is what's considered natural motion blur. In action scenes, the shutter angle would be reduced to like 45 degrees, 90 degrees. You need more clarity because there's more going on. The shutter angle is reduced to accommodate for that. That becomes a more natural way to do it for those scenes. For phones and cameras in low light, especially on auto mode, they will be maximizing how much light is entering the sensor. So you'd get up to 360 degree shutter angle and you get a lot more motion blur during those scenes because of the lack of light. So in After Effects you can use this knowledge to inform how much motion blur you want in your composition. Next up is samples per frame. This is the quality of the motion blur. So if we zoom in here, you can see right now there's some stepping in the motion blur. If I just change this to 32, you can see it's much smoother now. If you want to have more motion blur and you don't want to see the stepping, you can just increase this. It goes up to 64. You can see how smoothly that comes out now. Not much more to it than that. If you set this to like two, it's, it's got like a, almost a stylistic stepping. If that works for you, that's fine. I, I haven't found a case where that works. Shutter phase. This is basically the offset of the motion blur. Is the trail going before the motion or after the motion? So. You can see what this does. It's, it's moving the motion blur in relation to the object. If I select the square itself, so you have a point of reference of where the middle is of the motion blur. If you set this to say minus 180, if you set it to half of the shutter angle, it centers the motion blur. This is useful when you're trying to integrate motion elements with live action footage. Like you've tracked it and it's all looking pretty good, but you know, the motion blur is just a bit off. It's a bit early, or it's a bit late. Shutter phase is just another step to help you integrate it better. So that's how motion blur works in After Effects. You have shutter angle, we have samples per frame, and we have shutter phase. Adaptive sample limit, I have no idea what this does. I've tried to look it up. So that's it. If you have any questions or thoughts, let me know. Enjoy your motion blur. Thank you. Bye-bye.